What up, YouTube? This segment's going to be on drugs, and there seems to be a big controversy that always seems to conjure up from the use of the word drugs, whether it be the phrase, the war on drugs, um, less offensing drugs, should they lead to decriminalization, like i.e. marijuana, there always seems to be a big discrepancy surrounding it. And they always trying to find ways to inculpate people with the use of drugs, whether it be marijuana, alcohol. They're always trying to find some kind of method or rule or mandate to codify in order to control people. But when we look, really break down the definition of drugs, a straight out of the book definition, the internet definition, e e either way, they still both work. So it's like the internet definition of drugs, all it is is just a medicine or substance that has a physiological effect when either ingested or otherwise introduced to the body. So let's break that down further. Let's look at it from a more profound angle. When we really look at that, that definition of drugs, you, one can say, okay, air is a substance, may not be a pure substance um, because it's a gas mixture and it's a substance as well because it's made up of carbon dioxide, um, carbon, um, oxygen, and other elements as well, nitrogen. So it's a form of substance, may not be a pure substance. Um, it has a physiological effect on the body when we adjust it every moment of our life. It causes our lungs to expand, to contract, thereby paving the way so that we can breathe, giving the essence of life. So one can say air can be constituted as a drug under your definition of drugs, but they don't think of it as, from that angle. They see drugs as, a lot of us conceive drugs as just being negative. We automatically um, paint the image of marijuana or crack, cocaine, heroin. We automatically paint that image, it's not thinking about it more clearly that the definition of drugs could be even air itself. Because all of us, from if we all come together and say, okay, we're all abusing drugs. If you say that I abuse this form of drug, I can say that you're abusing drugs right now. You say, what? You sound stupid. Well, you're ingesting air. It has a physiological effect on your body. So you one can say that you are doing drugs. You know what I mean? So a lot of time that word drug is used very loosely in order to control people, in order to get more rules and regulations in, enacted so that way they can have a, a system of control. But like I said, you dive deeper into it and you realize that yes, air could be a form of drug because it has that effect on the body. So that's just something I'm trying to rouse some, I guess, suspicion or some form of trying to generate conversation, you can say, to see what others think. Um, I'm sure that, I mean, you get some people might that might dispute this, that is crazy, but I'm just trying to throw that out there to get people to really have a comprehensible uh, outlook on the definition of drugs and see it from my angle that, yes, air can be argued to be a drug under the definition of it. Um, so think about it, you know, and... Stay smooth. Peace.